Well, over the last two years, Turkey has increased its global exports while increasing its agricultural imports from the U.S., particularly cotton and rice. This week in Louisiana, agriculture's Avery Davidson is standing by in the Turkish capital of Ankara to tell us more about it. Avery? Mike, as you've said, Turkey is a major importer of cotton and rice from the United States. Joining me now is the U.S. Ag Counselor from the U.S. Embassy here in Turkey, Clay Hamilton. Clay, first tell me a little bit about the sort of relationship there is as far as trade goes in agriculture between the U.S. and Turkey. We like to think of ourselves as partners with Turkey. Uh, Turkey is a, a has a growing economy. Their agriculture sector is very vibrant. They have a lot of uh, potential. Um, but we provide a lot of the inputs and the impetus to help them get to where they are. Um, U.S. ag exports have really grown over the past couple of years. Last year we had 2.1 billion. That was a record for us. It was up 40 percent from the year before. And in the first six months of 2011, we're already up 60 percent from last year. So as you can see, trade just keeps continuing. A lot of that is, is basic inputs. Cotton, as you mentioned, it goes into their textile sector, which is a major part of their economy. Um, we se uh, sell a lot of feed for their livestock and, and dairy industry, um, and also poultry. They've started to export poultry th for the first time, and now we're providing a lot of the feed that they need to provide that because they can't produce all of the protein they need here in the country. Uh, you spent a lot of time in Texas. Uh, I know that uh, you were there in Nacogdoches, Texas. Uh, not far from Louisiana. Tell me a little bit about what you see that's similar between there and here in Turkey. Well, um, I think it's been noted that farmers are pretty much the same all over the world. And that's one thing I like about this job is just getting out to, in contact with the farmers. And I grew up in West Texas. It's dry and flat. There's a lot of dry and flat area here in Turkey. They have some of the same issues, uh, drought conditions, uh, you know, the um, high cost inputs. So a lot of the, the things that our farmers struggle with in the, in the United States are the same things that they struggle with here in Turkey. Um, through trade, sometimes we can help resolve some of those, but uh, in general, um, we just, you know, we do everything we can to get out and understand their system, understand uh, what they're trying to do and what their, their constraints are, and then our office puts that information out to U.S. exporters and U.S. trade associations so that they can do a better job of, of trying to reach the market here. Well, Clay, we're glad that you're here in Ankara to help facilitate that. He is Clay Hamilton, the Ag Counselor to the U.S. Embassy here in Turkey. So, Mike, as you see, it appears that trade uh, issues are going to be worked out and that things are growing between the U.S. and Turkey. Back to you. Avery Davidson, thanks. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture from Turkey, A.J. Sabine will take us into an underground kitchen for a dish that was centuries in the making. And in the Ag Minute, we'll show you the spicy side of the world's largest bazaar. Stay with us.